Hey everyone, let's take a few minutes to explore some of the recent changes to the user interface in 3D Coat, starting with version 3.7.12. Now, by the time you view this, there may be some additional changes because this is the early stages of this effort. So let's go ahead and dive right on into it and notice that if I go to the upper left hand corner here, I have a new little icon just to the left of the E panel. And if I toggle that, I get a different set of options for viewing not only the icons, but if I want to go back to the old text buttons. Okay, so yeah, we can go into other rooms and notice very little has changed in this regard. Now, not only do you have both text and uh, the icon, but it's a little smaller. You can fit more tools in here. However, let's say for example you like the larger uh, buttons, and, but you can't quite see some that you want to reach. You can just click, hold, and drag and get back to your preferred tool. And if you need to go back up, same thing. Just click, hold, and drag until you're in place. Now if you prefer working in more of an expert mode where you collapse this toolbar. You can do that and you can always retrieve it by clicking on this little tiny arrow here. You can bring the tool panel to you wherever your cursor is instead of reaching across the interface. Now I'm used to reaching but there are many times where you may want to hit the space bar just like you would the hot box in Maya and reach your tools this way. Okay, So all those icons and the text is right here and you can create some quick access tools here. If there are some that you use more often than others, you can always distract them right there. Okay. So, you also happen to have some new presets and what you would do is determine what do you want to store. So you can check the different options here and whatever tool you're in, it will re remember not only the tool, but the brush alpha and the other options that you chose as well. So when you're ready, you can always just right click somewhere and add preset, or you could click this little drop list, add preset, save presets, add presets from file, and so on. Or you could choose to clear them all. So again, you get the icons and the text and also a preview of the brush alpha. You can also rearrange where they fit in your preset panel by clicking on the icon and dragging. Or if you want to scroll up and down like you do, like you can here, uh, click on the text. And now you can scroll up and down if you like. Let me bring this up. As you can see here, you can scroll between them. Very handy. You can also go to Edit Menu, and Preferences, and you'll notice the Preferences panel is now divided into different tabs. There's a little bit of transparency in this panel so that you can still see the object beneath if you need. Okay, and that also is the case here. That way you can see whatever is beneath them. Okay, so Again, if we go to the other rooms, you can see the different icons. Even in the tweak room, it's very nice. The paint room, because you already had icons anyway, uh, there's no changes here. But um, everywhere else, you will happen to notice those changes. And again, this is uh, just the opening salvo of a major effort to restructure the user interface. So. With that, this should conclude this initial look at the user interface changes in 3D Coat. Thank you for watching.